Now the second task guys, the second task program is to go with the transaction file. OK, you already have a master file guys. You already have a master file here. Now what do you want is some of these customers guys, not all of them. Some of these customers use the credit card. OK, some of these customers use the credit card and did some transaction in certain days. Some customers did the transaction many times. Some did the customer only for one time. OK, if you see the customer number one, he did almost three times in that month. In the other customer guys, he did only one time. He has used the card only for one time and this customer one time, this customer two times and one time as well. The logic what you need to write here is consolidate them. OK, summarize this customers total into one record. You see the customer had made three records, right? three transactions, right? This is your input file. This is your input file. When you have these three records, you need to total this amount and keep it into one record. So 1000, 1500 and another 1000. So this is your balance total amount that he made for this month. Similarly, customer number two, customer number three and two. So this is your input file and this is your output file. OK, this is your input file which you need to create and this is your output file which you need to create. For this, what you need to do is it's a consolidation process, guys. You need to see the logic here, OK? Uh, what I have here is this is like you assume like this. Two. And 300 assume like values, OK? So this is two again 100. And then this is third record third record third customer did transaction two times like this. Now how the logic should go here is this is the logic of comparing with the second record guys. This is the logic to compare the two records compare the two records of same file of same file. First record has to check with the second record. Say first record has to check with the third record. First record has to check with the fourth record like this. So what you need to do is the very first step is to get one record, get one record and hold it, hold it. In a temporary variable, you need to hold the record. Temporary variable, you need to hold it. So as per our file, when you read for the first time, your control is here. Your control is here. So in this one, you'll be holding the first record and the total amount is 100 for now. The total amount is 100. Now the second step is your regular flow. Second step here is to read the file. Read the file till end. Read the file till end. Now when you got the second record guys, what you need to do is you need to do a comparison. This is a record comparison. First record should compare with second record. First record to compare with third record like that. So what you are comparing the record what you are holding. OK, you have a record that you are already holding, right? to the record that you came from the file. This is the card number from file. Now there are two cases. The record may match with the second record. The record may not match. Two cases, right? If I'm comparing this one to this one, it is a matching. When I compare the first record to the third record, it's also matching. When I compare the first record to the fourth record, it's not matching. So there are two cases only either matching or unmatching. So what you need to do? You need to write the logic in case of matching what I should do in case of unmatching what I should do. Two cases. <clears throat> in case of matching what you have to do, you need to take this total and add it to this total. <clears throat> you need to take the transaction of the second record and add it to the first record. So what you do? 200 plus 100. So you get the total as 300 here. Now again you do the trans comparison with the third record. So you do comparison with the third record and again it is matching. Again it is matching. So as long as it is matching guys, you need to take the previous total and the total come from the transaction. So total 600 now. But when you come to the fourth concept, OK, your records will go guys. Each time you read a record, the control will go to the next record. Now when you are reading fourth time, guys, when you are reading fourth time, which is in this case, unmatching case. This is the unmatching case where you have in your hand the hold. What you are holding here is 
the temporal variable hold. You are holding 111 record and you got a new record as 222 from the file. This is from the file. So they are not matching here. So when they are not matching, what you have to do is two steps again. First, send the 111 record as output because the total is completed for this particular record. For this particular record, the total is completed. So what you do simply send it out. Use a right statement, use a right statement and send like this 111 and the total. 111 and the total. That will be your output for first record. Now what you do is your second record is the new record. So take these two two three records and hold it. Hold it now. You just need to always hold the new record. You just need to take the temporary variable hold whatever you have. Earlier it was holding the one record. But now the record is changed, right? So you need to now go and hold the two 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 record. And the total part. OK, now you need to take the total of this one, right? So you need to start the total with new total as with 100. If it is matching, guys, if the records are matching, you just need to accumulate the totals. As long as it is the same record, you accumulate the total. Once the record changes, once the record is different here, which comes as unmatching case, whatever the total you did so far, send it out because that record is completed. This total record is completed now. What do you need to do? You need to go to the second record, right? So before you go and process second record, you complete this one, send it out because you already processed this. You already processed it. Suppose if I gave you a bunch of coins, guys, okay? I gave you all the different, different one rupee, two rupee or five rupee coins. I ask you to count. What you'll do? You'll take all one rupees and start counting only once, right? After completing all one rupee coins, then what you do? You start counting the two rupee coins. But when before you start two rupees coin, what you'll do? You'll remember the total of one rupee, right? You'll remember the total one rupee coins, how many are there? And then you start counting the second coins. Same thing here. In this case, you are counting all one rupee coins. Once you came to the second rupee coin, you moved all the total to somewhere else. So now you know what is one rupee coin total. Keep the same logic, okay? The same logic you'll be repeating. If it is matching, you'll just count, keep on counting. If it is not matching, then you simply keep on sending out. That's it. You understood, guys, all of you? How the logic is working? You're comparing first record with the second record always. One old record with one new record. This is a same logic with single file guys. When you come to two different files, the logic will change. This is only for same file. So any questions here? OK, so let's go and do that one as well here. I have these programs for a very long time, guys. Some people try their own. Some people just wait till I show them. So. This is the program. OK. And. I go to your program file here. This is a file I already have, guys. OK, this is the input file with all the records exactly from this document. OK, the same data, whatever you have. Some 111 record, 2 and 3 like this is there, right? So all three ones, some amount, 1000, 1500, 1000 like this. So the input file is already created here. You just need to create with the program what you know. OK, how we created master file input, how we created the account file input. Same way you need to create this file as well. I'm trying to use the file which I created already in the previous batch. So I'm using the same file here as input. Now I need to write the, see the program to convert this data into accumulating into single records. That's the logic I want to do. So F3, come here. If I open the task program 3 to you, if I open the task program 3 to you, 
in this one input file one output file transaction in file which contains the details of the transaction done by the customer multiple times out file should contain the total transaction account of the customer's card so input and output two layouts input layer is only of three fields output layer is only two fields the card number and the total amount card number and total amount so i have the fields okay now these are the two fields which i need for this logic one to hold the temporary variable to hold the card number for processing and the total due for accumulating okay if you see your notepad you need a temporary variable to hold and you need a calculation total variable to accumulate this total together so two additional variables are required now if you come to the logic guys if you come to the logic here task program two there is a small thing that you need to do first you need to get a record and hold guys so you see this 110 paragraph you see the 110 paragraph after opening the file i ask the system to get go and get the first record go and get the first record like i told you in the steps guys the very first step is get one record and hold it get one record and hold it so if i see in the read para i move the card number from the file okay this is card number from the file to my temporary variable i'm holding the card number here then the total what are the total will be zero plus the first record transaction amount this is zero plus transaction amount so i got the first card number and first card number total that's it from here rest everything is same okay this is your first step guys this is your first step you have seen 100 para you have seen 200 para and everything now i have added one more step for 110 para reading the same file and holding only first record in my hand then from the second record it is same for second record 200 para is the same only in the process para in the process para i have a condition for matching and not matching if it is matching guys what i need to do what are the amount what i have for the first record plus the transaction amount of second record then i go and get the third record okay go and get the third record now once the system comes to the third record if it is matching then the total of one and two record plus the transaction amount of third record go and get the fourth record if if at all fourth record is also matching fourth record is also matching then what happens the total of 1 2 3 record plus the transaction amount of fourth record so this will be keep on accumulating guys this will be keep on accumulating whenever you have a same card number but let's say the first card number is completed so when you come here this is the card number 2 and you are holding card number 1 so it's unmatching that case what you do write the total record of first record okay send it out send the card number which you are holding you see here the card number which you are holding and the total amount you have accumulated both the records you send it to the file and now do the same thing like you did for first record do the same thing like you did for the first time get the record from the file and hold it now get the second record and hold it here and do the trans total again from the new record if you get the fifth record and they are matching it will accumulate you got a sixth record if they are matching accumulate you got a seventh record and if it is not matching then what it will do first it will write the record which you accumulated and then hold the record which is new here so each time it will loop guys each file it will loop for condition true and false if it is matching or unmatching so we can compile this program emit we can compile this program here task program 3 i'm just giving overview guys so that you put your hands on this this is an assignment which you are supposed to do but i see some of you are asking me to show at least once so i'm taking some time to show you here but again this is not the way i train it i have my own tricks to make you better so this is a compilation is successful let's write the jsl as is task jsl3 
as ACL3 here. This is a program for two files, one input, one output. I know how to write JSLs for input and output files easily. So you have to write it as way. So task program three, step lib, tell the system the load location is in my library called IBM user dot T8 dot load. This is equal to share. Sys print DD, sys out equal to star, sys out DD, sys out equal to star. And there are two files I need to give. Okay. I need to mention two files here. Refresh. There is a transaction DD1, transaction DD02. So that is the name I need to give. I cannot give any other name, guys. I already showed you yesterday. In your practice, if you are doing these mistakes, you can correct them mostly by yourself. But if you are not able to correct it for a long time, then you can ping me in the WhatsApp, guys. Okay. Tomorrow is your Sunday. Right, so we're going to do it to work on those Sundays as well. Transaction DD02, DDDSN equal to IBM user dot PA dot transaction out. This is an output file, guys, so you know the drill. Put all the variables here. Put all the variables here. New catalog delete. And then unit location is 33. 890 here volume location serial is ja sys1 and then you have the space allocation guys the space allocation is track one comma one and release it once it is done then the dcb parameters equal to ds formation as ps file logical recall length so the recall length of the output file guys i don't know how much it is so pi and 10 and 12 so it is a 12 bytes file guys a small file and record format is fixed block record format as fixed block and block size equal to zero end of the jcl and there is no session in this program guys okay there is no session required in this particular program the data comes from the input file and the data goes to the output file in here you have the transactions of a customer card multiple times in here you are just consolidating them summarizing all the transaction into single record that's the output expected so i'm gonna submit here i got zero let's check the output file let's check the output file here if you see this one guys the first customer has now 3500 as the total amount second customer has 2500 third customer has 22000 but but there is a trick point here there is a trick thing happens here if i open my input file guys in my input file along with card number one two three there is one more card also guys card number five is there okay if you see the file card number one two three and five there are actually four different records and the output should be showing all four cards output should show you four records guys but in i in our